Hello guys, this is Adam. I hope that you are doing good. This will be my review for the Mac Mini with the M1 chip. Yeah, welcome to the lab, in the lab where we do test things out. So uh, aside from that, I will go straight with the conclusion. The Mac Mini or any device with the M1 chip, they are wonderful devices. Go ahead, hands down, go ahead and buy one. I have been using it for the past two days. It was a pleasant to use. Coding, no problem. Video editing, no problem. Those two topics, I do have videos separate about them where I put the Mac Mini ahead, head to head with an i9 64 gigabyte of RAM, one terabyte, 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is supposed to be faster. The Mac Mini was keeping up like it's a piece of cake and it has only a gigabyte of RAM. I was blown away. Like I feel cheated that I spent $4,000 on my machine right here and this machine only for $700 and it's doing a better job. This is insane. The conclusion is that I will give you if you want a machine that you want to enjoy using and maybe you want to do some light or even heavy video editing in that instance or maybe you want to do coding or even you want maybe to do programming or web development or iOS development no issues at all you can go ahead and do it without any issues so that's my conclusion for you and go ahead and grab whatever device you want but get 16 gigabyte of RAM that would be my already now let's get into a more detailed review and I will start with why you need 16 gigabyte of RAM with any of those machines let's say you are developing and you are making web development something I noticed while doing iOS developer test the processor would compile everything really fast so the build successful I would get it even before I get it on my i9 but what would happen is the RAM will be delayed in order to virtualize everything and the reason being the limitation is simply there is not enough RAM for the Mac Mini uh, and from Xcode virtualized on let's say an iPhone 12 while here on the 16 inch it actually managed to virtualize that quicker but built successful was almost instant on the M1 chip but the limitation was the RAM and with video editing you will be having the same issue with web development you will be having the same issue so always getting more RAM if there is anything that you need to upgrade and you cannot upgrade anything else get more RAM and then see what you can go you can upgrade from there so that is one of the hugest things about the Mac Mini or the M1 chip in general that I definitely recommend taking into account. Scrubbing the, the timeline, going through Xcode and writing code and compiling code and debugging the code, going to subline text and running subline text through Rosetto. No freaking issues at all. Yes, you have to download Rosetto in order to start running things and it would take a while, but aside from that, everything run perfectly to the point I forgot that some of those applications are not even optimized. I was anticipating we will be having a lot of bugs since this is like a very first launch and usually whatever first launch or whatever something come out at the very beginning is bad. And that's what I said in my previous video, but dang. <laughs> They, they they did it and they actually did it right. I didn't notice a lot of bugs, if not at all, and everything went smoothly. Now granted, with the applications that I'm using, which mostly they are related to programming, but I didn't have any issues and most of those applications I had to run on Rosetto and it was just fine. Now you will be having an issue though with one thing, C++ and C Sharp, because these need to be optimized because these are heavy applications so definitely they will be running better um, for example unity and unreal engine they will be running better with the upcoming applications they simply would be better but in the meantime they are a no-no until they get let's say patched or fixed or whatever that might be or you would we would just get a better um, chip than that but they will be doing fine because the thing is with you Un unity and unreal you need a really good graphics and you need a huge amount of RAM and that's something you cannot get with the devices that have the M1 chip since the maximum that you can go to with that I'm 16 gigabyte and it's still it's not optimized for you universal usage yet and that's why you will be having issues with it but aside from that everything else went smoothly I didn't have any issues and sometimes my machine on the Mac mini feels snappier than what's on my 16 inch MacBook Pro and even though the 16 inch MacBook Pro is fully spec'd out so there is that this machine is a small powerful and it's awesome 
the M1 chip is definitely a step into the right direction. I would like to see how it would be on um, the lighter Mac minis and such, but yeah. And speaking about that, why only silver? I wish we can get space gray, but whatever. Anyhow, um, like, honestly, who cares about the color? I mean, I know some people do, but to be honest with you, I couldn't care less. I just want something that works and I will be good to go. One thing to mention is a lot of people talking about fan noise. Honestly, I couldn't care less. I don't care if my machine is noisy or not. What's important to me is the machine works and I get my work done. So definitely the i9, the 16 inch MacBook Pro would get loud while the um, Mac mini is dead silence since the moment I got it. Is that like if you are doing heavy stuff, does it really even matter if it gets loud? You having headphones and you're not hearing it. I I don't know why people complain about that but like whatever. I, I I honestly couldn't care less. Noisy noisy, whatever. I, I just want something that would perform well and the Mac Mini definitely does it. So that's my review for the Mac Mini. It's definitely mach the, a machine that I recommend getting um, if you want a personal computer or if you don't want a personal computer, you want a laptop, go ahead with uh, the MacBook Pro. I would recommend just because it has a fan, but if you can only afford the Mac Mini, go ahead and do it. But whatever device you get, for the love of whatever you believe in, even if you were an atheist and you believe in nothing, that's okay. The most important thing, just get a 16 gigabyte of RAM. That's all, that's all what I am asking you to do. Shell the extra 100 to 200 dollars and get the freaking 16 gigabyte of RAM. It drives me insane when people only get 8 gigabyte. Even if it was like, I uh, don't do heavy stuff, I don't. Get the, get the 16 gigabyte of RAM and then you will have my unconditional love.